gardeners, I'm willing to guess that a lot of you grew up playing out in nature. And I did too. In fact, my mom tends to think I just never grew out of making mud pies. Sometimes I wonder if I didn't play out in nature, would I have discovered my passion for horticulture? Well, now as a mother of two, I'm trying to juggle technology and tripping over brightly colored toys in my house. And I think back to my childhood and some of my favorite memories were just with a metal spoon out underneath some trees playing in the soil. And my brother and I used to make up cities and scenarios that only he and I could see that were etched out in the ground. Well, those were some of our favorite memories. And back then it was just called playing outside. Nowadays, it's called unstructured nature play. And with all of the influences of time and accessibility, a lot of times kids aren't getting to experience nature play as much as they used to. But it's actually been shown in research to help with childhood development. So it's very important. It can in fact help their physical activity, their cognitive development, such as imagination, as well as some of their emotional and physical resilience. Well, with all these benefits, it's kind of curious that we're actually seeing a decline in unstructured nature play or playing outside. And among the reasons being time and safety and also just competing interests, one of the reasons is accessibility to nature. We're here at the Botanic Garden at OSU, and I just wanted to show you what the ambassadors have come up with called our mud kitchen. Well, it is pretty elaborate, I have to say, and it doesn't necessarily have to be this elaborate in order to create a space for nature play in your own backyard. In fact, a lot of the things that you would incorporate are sticks, water, soil, dirt, sand, all the things that you probably already have in your backyard. So you can see here, we've got a pretty elaborate, thank you, Bob. We've got a pretty elaborate kitchen set up. And one of the things that I wanna share with you is just go to a secondhand store and find some kitchen appliances. And of course the ingredients are whatever natural materials that you might have. The kids love to stir and mix and pour. And so this is a great way to kind of help their development. And you know what, if it gets a little messy, that's okay because really there's not much cleanup. It's messy. It's messy over there, isn't it? Yeah. So we've got a lot going on here and I wanted to share with you about this mud kitchen. So like I said, a tip is to go to a secondhand store and get any sort of materials that you think might hold up outside to kind of reuse those. So you're not worried about your fine china. We're going to go get some mud, definitely. <laughs> So your ingredients that you're playing with in the mud kitchen can be everything from sand to sticks to even a bowl full of acorns that you might want to add to the recipe. Can I give you some of those? <laughs> so this is just one way to sort of develop those skills that your children are developing. And I know a lot of times kids are naturally attracted to water and sand and they might be inclined to throw the sticks and throw the rocks, but how else are they going to learn how to skip a rock? or play fetch with their dog. So as your child is developing, make sure to put down the screens and the technology and get outside and play a little bit. It doesn't have to be this elaborate. Again, it can be all those different things that you might find in nature. And if you live in an apartment and don't have access to a space in your own backyard, make sure to visit those neighborhood parks or even your local botanical garden. The best thing about nature's play is the fact that a lot of the materials are free. There's no right way or wrong way to do it. It helps with childhood development. And of course, no batteries are necessary. You want some acorns? How about some acorns? <laughs> Good job. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.